welcome back to another video on the channel today we're back on GT Sport and we're back with FIA manufacturers round 4 of test season 24 and we're driving the Renault RSO one we're joining the qualifying session we went into the pit one minute for just over giving ourselves just about a minute and a half to do um, some laps as you can see there I was checking behind because there was a car behind us approaching but he was P20 so I was fairly confident that I could get another and um, stay ahead of him so you can see we were P2 at this time fractionally short of P1's time going over the line and starting our qualifying last few qualifying laps I really had to go for it to try and get pole you can see I was pushing a little bit too hard in this lap had a little error coming out of the corner but we managed to get the power reasonably well we go through this sector split just fractionally short of our best lap and I wanted to get his slip soon but he was too far over so I couldn't go for that so I stayed nice and tight in on the apex and just pushed on for another lap we've got enough time to do another two laps you can see we actually slightly improved our lap by a, a fraction of you know not hardly anything at all but we carried on and we've got a car in front of us um, who's in p6 and we're not really in the slipstream at this stage we're a bit too far back so we're not going to gain anything we're pushing hard though trying to make sure that we've got enough time to get over the line to do that final run because i knew this lap wasn't going to be strong enough and looks like we're going to do it we go over the line and we start our final lap now so you can see going through the first corner we get the line pretty much perfect and we got the power really early we got the power so nice and early there early upshift into fifth because we got the power so early so we managed to take this corner in fifth gear and then we get a nice line through that corner without having to put much counter steering through to this corner and you can see we're massively up we're not really in the slipstream either so we've just done that on just driving merits that was a really nice sector through there as we go over the line and we managed to go over the line in pole position with a 25.277 indian food manages to take p2 right at the end as well and that's not bad as a lamborghini randomly comes across the track and hits us but um it's irrelevant because we're at the end of qualifying so we're starting p1 in this top split <coughs> fia race you can see there p1 25.277 we really hooked that lap up in p2 there indian food at 25.385 we had a quite a big gap to ourselves in, in p2 we really did hook that lap up and you can see there in p3 p3 starts it starts the p4 Bra bravey 78 and then going down to p5 we've got v christian 94 and then in p6 i think we've got tx3 mirage so you can see there's some big drivers in this race some fairly fast drivers and i was really happy with that pole position in this split you know it wasn't the highest rated lobby because there was only about i think there was only about eight or nine maybe eight or something guest rated drivers and then a lot of a rated drivers so it wasn't going to be a massive amount of points in this race but obviously there's still over 2,000 points up for grabs for the winner of this race and um we're in a really strong position starting from pole position obviously the the, the slipstream is going to be very strong on this track but my aim was to try and see if we can get out of that slipstream right from the go and really go aggressive from the start and see if we could build a little bit of a gap up and then maybe do some fuel saving as the race went on so going to the back end of the grid we've got a ferrari there in p15 and then let's see who we've got at the back end of the grid in p16 we've got An andro r35 driving the nissan and we've got mcmanthus driving another ferrari there and then going around the corner we've got lamborghini driven by javros 82 and then who's driving the aston oh it's a mercedes amg actually it's alex pandolf pandolfi 95 by the looks of it and then in p20 z tenor or something um a uk driver so we're starting a p1 we're looking really good at this stage we're going to go to the replay camera for the start of the race so you can see the action as um obviously driving p1 it'll be an empty track in front of us so we're just going to start the action off from the replay cameras as you can see there indian food behind us i think he was having connection issues at some points in this race because at the start his car disappeared and then it reappeared and then disappeared and i was a little bit worried in case it was going to lag spike into me or something but you'll see his car's moving about a bit he goes into the wall on the replay but he didn't he's actually driving on the track so it's just the um <coughs> the connection issues that he was having in the early stages but we get away nicely in p1 trying to put some early good pace in we run a really wide through that corner i was really having issues with that corner with the renault but we managed to get away with it because you can run so high up on that wall and with the renault you can still get some turn in on that wall so we go over the line after lap one and we're still in the lead in p2 there indian food and then quite a bit of a gap down to p3 so we're driving really really well obviously right from the start no real massive errors we made that little error going through that fast corner which we're coming up to again now this time we go through it 
and we're a bit better that time. We actually we still run a little bit over the blue, but not not as bad as but um, over the yellow line. Sorry, but not as bad as we did before. So we've actually built up a nice gap. What the aim was, like I was saying, was use one mixture and put some real um, speed in start for the first two laps. You can see managed to build a 1.5 gap. So we were into fuel mode. We went down to fuel mode three and putting some saving in through the corners. And then back into fuel mode mixture one when we're in the power zone. As you can see this time, go through that corner. We run a little bit wide, but nowhere near as bad as we did before. And we've got that line a little bit more sorted this time. So into fuel mixture two again, saving some fuel. I could see the um, Indian food was dropping back. So my guess was he was saving fuel as well. So I decided to do the same and just save some fuel and try and see if we can um, make sure that we we you know cover any undercut in the pits. So this stage we're one point you know one over 1.6 seconds ahead. We do that corner really nice this time. We did it in fuel mixture two. Got some real nice turning and we're not losing any time while saving this fuel. So this was the best option to do just save some fuel make sure that we've got enough to um, get you know some advantage in the pits at this stage i wasn't sure how the tires would last i hadn't done any testing and i was obviously giving myself the option if i had to do some massive fuel saving to do it without pitting but i started realizing that like by looking at them front tires and the rear right the right hand tires there was no chance of doing the, the um one stop in this race and uh, no no stop in this race sorry it had to be a pit stop race and there was just no way of making the move. The tyres would have been totally gone and you would have been spinning off on the corner. So you can see, really pushing hard up against that wall on that right hand side, as you can see in that replay camera on the top right hand side, really giving no inches to spare pretty much on the exit of that corner. And then getting that nice and early, close to that wall through that fast corner there, that fast right hander. And we've got a 2.2 second lead. So again, we're just saving fuel, making sure we've got enough fuel to get in the pits and have you know the undercut covered so we've now got start skiing p2 a french driver two french drivers behind us so you know this is where the worrying thing starts to come in again after what happened in monza and it's happened a few times i don't know why it's always french drivers but you know there is some very clean french drivers as well i'm not going to just say they're all dirty because there is a lot of clean french drivers however there is some really affluently dirty french drivers out there and um we're going to experience it in the race. I'm not going to mention when it happens, but you know, by the by the, the title of the video, you'll get what what's going to happen in this race. But we're driving okay at this stage, and we're one point. I think 1.3 seconds. What I was doing now, I was letting him basically catch me up because I wanted to let him burn his fuel away. I was pretty confident that he'd wasted a lot of fuel because he had, had a bad start to the race. So he's obviously been using one mixture from the start. We're there using three mixture with reasonable amount of fuel left. We've still got. Um, 63% of the fuel. We're going to drive on board, go onto the MTV replay cameras. You can see the sparks flying off that Renault as it goes through the really fast corner. It's really low down to the ground, this Renault. So the sparks kick up when you go through some of the corners, as you see there. I didn't see many sparks coming off the um, Lexus that was behind us, but our car was definitely kicking up them sparks. As you can see there, he's coming through the corner right behind us there and he's pushing up against the wall. He's getting fairly close, getting within the slipstream, but I was just covering at this stage. I was just making sure that he wasn't gonna be able to make get past me, but I was still making sure I could save the fuel. As you can see there, taking that really um, wide line, just about avoiding going over the yellow line and just keeping it nice and tight through that corner there, just to take the shortest distance through the, through the corner. So we go over the line, now we're gonna drive on board with P2 and as you can see there, going through the corner again, we're not pushing too close to the boards. He actually hit the wall that time and we're getting close to the pit stop phase now so <clears throat> be interesting to see what fuel differences was as we went into the pits and to see who how much fuel he had actually saved compared to ourselves we're obviously I'm, I'm hoping that when i was well i was hoping when i went in the pits that he he didn't have more fuel than me i didn't think he would so it'll be interesting to see because i didn't actually remember i didn't actually pay attention to his fuel when i did it i just fueled up and went out and then um, prayed that I'd come out still in P1 so you can see there we're, we went around a really wide line through that corner that time and um, was an issue I was having with the Renault on the odd time and just trying to hook that corner up where you've got to take a really tight line to that wall as we get close to that wall again on the outside there we got a little bit too close but this corner was really strong in the Renault I felt I felt I could take a lot of speed through there and get good exit from from the corner pretty much every time so we were still saving fuel at this moment on the other occasion and we're going to join on board now as we go into the pit so let's have a little look at the fuel levels as we go into the pit so we go into the pits with 44 so, sorry 43 and he went in the pits with 44 so pretty much identical however that lexus is very good at fuel saving so 
whether he was having to do it much or whether that's just the fuel he was using up to that point i'm not too sure but we're pretty much identical on fuel so we put our new tires on and we're gonna fill up pretty much dead onto that line i didn't want to under fuel i wanted to actually i actually went over the line to give myself a bit of a, a bit extra fuel so that i could run aggressive to the end and i didn't want to do um much fuel saving at all so you can see there we still come out ahead of the guy who was behind us and the gap's pretty much identical it's it's one second still to um, p6 now but obviously the top four drivers pitted on this lap so we're going to go around this corner now and we should come out pretty much in the lead as you see now <coughs> going over the line in a few seconds going over the line there and we've took the lead we're into p1 but obviously the pit exit is around this corner now <coughs> i wasn't i couldn't see anyone there on the left there was no visible signs of anyone as i turn in there's a little bit of contact there and it's indian food he must have i don't know where he came from but he just suddenly appeared without any sight line of sight we actually get a one second penalty but i don't put any blame on indian food for that because that was more to do with the pit exit on this track not being very well designed and obviously just just an incident that happened we didn't none of us lost any time so i don't feel like anyone should have got a penalty there either indian food or myself so it's a shame that happened indian food actually got a, two, a penalty as well which is just baffling because you know, we both come out with side by side contact no one came into any harm and we both get a penalty so hopefully these are the issues that have been sorted now and um, a lot of people are reporting that it's much better the penalty system so i'm really looking forward to getting back racing as we go over the line there and we're still in p1 luckily and we've got indian food behind us kind of acting as a rear gunner because his, his car isn't the fastest in the straight so i felt pretty safe with him behind me as we're going to go through to the replay camera and watch the action as the french driver manages to get past i felt like um, indian food actually give him that position a little bit and then um, he's back in the slipstream with the lexus maybe he wanted to do some fuel saving behind the lexus and try and give himself more of an attacking run at the end but i had the fuel to run maximum all the way to the end now i, I was able to run one mixture to the end without any issues as you can see there we're already halfway around lap we've got 8.2 we're over the laps we need so i was fairly comfortable at this stage so as we come for it i actually tap the wall you can see there we skim the wall and we get away with it you can see there he's still behind us and um, we've just about got away with that we go through the corner it's that really dodgy wall we're over two temps ahead now go into the corner and then suddenly i, I don't even want you know, I didn't even want to look at this when I, I thought I'm going to watch the replay and I don't even want to watch what he's done because that is just a stupid move and when you see the replay it's it's even worse because he's trying to block Indian food from overtaking so he's pushing him out the way and he's not watching where he's going and he clean just whacks into the back of my car um, it's baffling that these drivers even try I, think. I mean why was he even blocking Indian food I have no idea Indian food was going for a legit overtake he had the slipstream on him and he just didn't want to get past he's basically a dirty French driver that doesn't want to get past and I know there is clean French drivers out there but he is one of the dirtiest I've ever come across and he even had the cheek to say that I was stupid um, that it was me being dirty in this race if anyone has seen anything dirty from him, I've not even been near him he's not even been anywhere near my car the closest he got was eight tenths of a second before that and I had to go in the pits because I had really bad damage to the car. I don't know what it was. It, was, it just felt like the rear was going to slide out when as soon as I turned the wheel. Obviously, our tyres were overheated as well. So I just thought I'm going to go in, put some fresh tyres on, get that damage fixed so that it's not damaged. Obviously, you could see on the car um, telemetry on the bottom left, it was damaged on the rear. So now we've got a clean car and a um, fixed car. But we're down into P16. So from a possible win of a race... We're down to p16 so now i just wanted to get the fastest lap before i've got the fresh tires i might as well just go in search of some faster laps i was so down about that about this race at this point because we had raced that perfectly we had the fuel to run flat out to the end i don't i'm not too sure the others did we had the position on the track they were fighting and that happens you know in indian food nearly got took out as well he was very lucky to get away about being taken out of the race and we get our race destroyed by that in the French driver who also rage quit after that and decided to leave the lobby because he probably didn't want us being able to give him abuse at the end of the race and um, I was really annoyed I actually messaged him asking him what 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 was the reason for that move that he'd done and his answer was myself and Indian food are stupid and we were driving bad apparently I, I didn't even come across him the only thing that happened for that was where I skimmed the wall on the entry to home, which flung me out to left but then we were back on track and we had it he was nowhere near an overtaking opportunity he was too busy looking in his mirrors 
and trying to wipe out Indian food and he wrecked my race again and um, I'm not too sure if it actually gave me a penalty for that I, did, I probably would have got a penalty of him hitting me but we obviously got rid of that in the pits because he gets rid of most penalties when you're in the pits anyway so and obviously when we were going down the straight at about five miles an hour probably got rid of a lot of the penalty as well so you can see this is really frustrating from, for our, from our perspective we go through the line there with the fastest lap of the race at 25.4 uh, it's nothing special obviously it could have been faster but I, I was just not really bothered at this stage we're down into p16 we're going to come away with hardly any points from a probably one of our better results you know we had we were ahead of indian food on merit we hadn't done it through crashes in front of us we got pole we were in the lead and we were doing everything that we had to do and then see we go over the line obviously been lapped so we end up in P16 and a really disappointing race result and hopefully, I mean we should be in the top 24 stars race anyway because there's not many fast drivers driving the Renault this, this season but our race was wrecked by that one French driver so not much I can do. All I can do is hope that the next round in the GR4 at Dragon Trail is going to be a better race. Anyway guys, make sure you sub the channel if you've enjoyed that video. Click the notification button so you don't miss any more future videos. We'll be back with more GT Sport daily races, FIA races and the set of course and project cars videos very soon. Thanks again for watching.